And now it's time for more of Southern California's sports fishing voice. Let's talk hookup. This portion of the show is sponsored in part by Ford, the official truck of Let's Talk Hookup. Shimano Rods and Reels, fish with the best, Shimano. And by Yamaha Outboards, official motor sponsor of Let's Talk Hookup. Here we go. Another great hour of Southern California's sports fishing voice. Let's Talk Hookup. Here's Pete Gray, Rock Cod, Rick Maxa, and Corey Sandin. Welcome back. Hour number two, Let's Talk Hookup, right here on the Let's Talk Hookup app, Sports Grid Radio Network, 1090 AM, Facebook and YouTube Live, and a whole bunch of other stuff, too. Yeah, Pete Gray here, along with Rock Cod, Rick Maxa, and along with Corey Sandin. We have bonus triple hosts today. I love and Let's it. Talk Hookup, and it's all because of Valerie Hope Rich and yeah. Rob from Queen Charlotte Safaris. Thank you, And uh, having a great time giving away an amazing prize, too. Boy, you're not kidding. If you didn't catch the beginning of the show, one lucky caller or texter, and then, as always, it'll be decided by a coin flip from Valerie at the end of the show, whether this great prize goes to a caller or texter. 300 bucks to Costa Sunglasses. Your choice, man. you got $300 coming your way. Anything from Costa, you can pick out a killer high-end pair of glasses. You can buy two lower-priced pairs of glasses. You can get... Uh, spend the extra money Their on all their great clothing. Are great. Yeah. Totally. Coolers. Just They have so much great Backpacks. stuff. you got 300 bucks coming your way from Costa and uh, really, really stoked to get to give that away to one lucky caller or texter. Again, if you want to get your shot to get through today, talk to Valerie, talk to Rob. 213-432-1090 is a number. we got pretty darn full phones right now, but there is one line open. 213-432-1090. And as always, keep those texts coming through on that Let's Talk Hookup app. There's been a ton of texts. One of the problems I've been having with going through the text today is they're all the same thing. Oh, my God. I went to yeah. Queen Charlotte Safari. I had the best time. Valerie's the best hope. Rob's the best fisherman. I love it. I love it. I love it. Yeah. Like, they're all the same text from different people. It's so a lot fun. Of, a lot of yeah, good stuff. Yeah, it's been a really, really fun yeah, morning. for sure. Well, let's jump back on the phone. You got it. How about we talk to Blake? And Blake's calling us from Los Perilles this morning. Good morning, Blake. What's up, Blake? Hey, good morning, guys. Good morning, everybody. I was lucky to fish with. Yeah, I'm going to be down at uh, Smokey's here in a little while. All right. Yeah. Nice. I'll meet you. Yeah, there. I'm gonna go. Yeah, I'm gonna verify for you, Pete, how good the fishing is. Um, yeah, Chris actually told the truth. It is wide open in Dorado right now down here. Yeah. The weather's great, and um, I was lucky enough to fish with you and Corey and Harold, and of course Valerie there. Good morning. Um, so I'm yeah, down morning, south, man. working my way up. Working, my, yeah. Luce was down here also. She said hello, but um, just like Rick just said, the same old recording. Valerie's place up there is just an amazing, an amazing uh, journey. And when you were talking about changing the name, um, it, it, it was getting pretty emotional for me. That's how classy of a person you are to do what you're doing with the the traditional, the real name of that uh, area. And thank you for doing that. Well, thank you. It means that's, a lot. That's cool. So are we going to see you in Los Barillas on Thursday, Blake? No, I wish you were, bud. I wish you were. I'm, um, unfortunately, I'm leaving Tuesday. Um, and good luck to you, buddy, out there with uh, Chris and on the Vaquera. And they, they, they did get some Wahoo yesterday, like uh, Chris was saying. Okay. Good news yeah. for our and, uh, the, the, group. Yeah, yeah, and the uh, Dorado or the ones we were getting were, you know, between 12 and 15 pounders, so they they were nice. good. They were good. Yeah. Very nice. Cool. Blake, I'm going to need one favor. I'm going to need you to have a shrimp taco and a cold Pacifico at Smokey's in my oh. honor for you. Oh. <laughs> have a great day. Hey, I, I can do that for you, Rick. I can do that for you, Rick. And, again, it was a pleasure to be with you guys and uh, – Valerie and and I'm gonna come up there and I'm gonna chase some Albies one of these days. You there need you to do that. Oh, yeah, Blake, We'd love thanks to have a lot. Yeah, that one, one, one. Go ahead. Go ahead. All right, hey, guess we bye bye. All right, thanks. Hey, hey, speaking of Albies, mm -hmm. are you going to give people that opportunity, okay. Valerie? Yes. Well, you, we've been teased a couple times here. What's the deal? So we are. Uh, we are. We we all the uh, guides and I talked about it and. Um, I think what we're going to do is offer probably end of August. Uh, you can do one day of albacore and then two days of everything else. Um, and depending on weather, of course. Sure. So what we did, uh, we did a trial run 
and the trial run was uh, they went out on they came in on the second of September, and they we looked at the week and they went out on the third and it was I think they got twenty four. I think, I wow. believe, between the two boats. And the pictures are amazing. And I think I texted to you, Pete, that's showing the front part of Nathan's boat and looking back at the island. Yeah. And they're right on the continental shelf. And they're catching albacore. That they're right catching there. albacore. Crazy. And it was so crazy, though. It looked like the water was... You were in the Caribbean. Yeah. It was wow. so blue. Flat. Jeez, beautiful. that's cool. It was just hey, hey, Rob, beautiful. So that's it, what we're it, planning. Rob, is it possible to catch albies and salmon in the same day? Oh, I'm sure he could. I mean, it's going to be a pretty full boat of fish. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a good problem, right? Yeah, yeah, nothing wrong with that problem, I guess. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And 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 what is the grade of the albacore that you guys got this year? Oh, it's fabulous. It's like so firm and fatty. It's unreal. It's uh I don't know if I, I mean I've never had albacore from down south, but um, like from what I heard from a couple of people, yeah, I mean you're, you're looking at between you know 15 to 40 pounds. Oh, right? wow. mm-hmm. big nice yeah. 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 big boys. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So th- and that processor did them like perfecto. Uh, yeah. Ours processing. No surprise. So Perfecto. that that that'll be toward the end of the season that you'll offer that opportunity, yes. right? Which would yes. be uh, end of August, beginning of September. Mm-hmm. Right? Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna as soon as I get back from after this, I'm doing another show. As soon as I get done my show. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna work on it. Wow. We're gonna put it together. So yeah, yeah the guys are all yeah, they're in. So yeah, why not? Yeah. And, and it's mm-hmm. something that you know we may not have forever. Sure. But, Fish like, dependent. I know, I'm just going to give an example. Like, I know Nathan, because where they were fishing, they came right back up, and they got they got their limonene cod coming back in after they got their tuna. So, How incredible. You know. Wow. Why not? The, yeah, the options not? are there. Why not? It's and, there. And, and it's a mile off the beach. Yes. And yeah. it could be longer, like yeah. like Rob was saying. You could have to go 10 miles. Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> <Right. Whoa. laughs> well, uh, Rick, you have a great text, huh? I thought so, yeah. Let me pull it right back up here. And uh, this one was from John from Mira Mesa. And the, uh, the reason I wanted to read this text, there's a lot of texts that were very similar to this. So this is John's that's making it, but a lot of them covered it. And it was all about the travel in. It says, Valerie, regarding my travel from San Diego, how many days do I need to allow? But then also, how many days do you recommend uh, for side side travel um, to get to the lodge? I'm wanting to do like a three-day fishing trip, but he wants to know if he should add days to the front or the back end, both to allow for travel and then also to allow for fun uh, to do side side ventures. Yeah, very good question. So I I have our trips completely like in out days for 25 and 26. Like we're ready, right? So let's say you come in on a Friday. Right. So out of San Diego, depending, you could come up if you want a, a few days in Vancouver before. You could come in. We have the hotel, of course. We get Angler rate, a really good rate. And want to tour Vancouver and then come on up to us on that Friday. But if, let's say, you don't want to, like you just want to come straight up, depending on flight times, which we will have this month, uh, you can come all the way through, connect to the flight to Sandspit, and then you're in Sandspit that afternoon. And then you're going to fish, 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 three full days of fishing. And then on the fifth day, um, you have an option of going all the way home or staying in Vancouver at the Fairmont again. And they do have a fish valet. Which is so, so convenient. It's so good. It is. It's amazing. They store your fish for you. Fish valet. Little butler comes out. But it's so crazy because you're in the airport. Like, you literally, you have your stuff on a cart, which, thank you, Canadians in Vancouver Airport. It's all free. It's all free. You get your cart. You... Go right there. It's literally a three-minute walk. And, and then you get a car, just yes. like your car. And and, and yes. you're in a five-star hotel yes. right there. It's Legit. Yeah. Yes, amazing. Yes. So depending on what you want to do. So that that's where my, my office on the U.S. side comes in. We're all about putting your trip together depending on what you want to do. So yeah. if you want extra time, no problem. If you just want to stick to the five-day trip, no problem. And Vancouver yeah. is a beautiful town. It's and the people, lovely. I've heard it my whole life. The first time I went to Canada was last year, all right, for the trip. 
Canadian, I didn't know that. Yes, Canadian oh. Canadian people are beautiful. They're it's nice. so here's a crazy thing. The TSA every time I go through a US TSA through the airport, they're so gruff and their faces like they just yeah. Like they have to use a restroom or something. They're just so unfriendly. <laughs> when you go to Canada, <laughs> leave it to me. Leave it to me. No, but it's, I do. But it's no, honest. Yeah, I get it. It's no, honest. I get it. But yeah. in Canada, they were, actually, <laughs> they were actually smiling and laughing, yeah. and they're doing their job. They're nice but, people. But they're very happy that yeah. you're there and and laughing with the kids. And ha- it's a different, complete different. Scenario. Yeah. It's very wonderful people. Yeah. And I'll mention this too: is that the 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 <laughs> the U.S. dollar um, is very strong against Canadian dollar. It's mm-hmm. like like seventy cents to the dollar, right? Something like that. It fluctuates. Uh, fluctuates, but that means like your and then the rate you get at the Fairmont, it makes it like two hundred bucks a night for a Fairmont. I mean, look at any Fairmont in the world; they're tax. six, seven hundred dollars a night. Wow. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Oh yeah. It's a very good. It's because it's a high end it's a very high end hotel and then that area where the airport is is Richmond is has the best Asian food you'll ever yes. every this size of the side of the Orient you said that multiple yeah. times that that oh, yeah. was like such a highlight of the of the stopover time absolutely because there was such a migration okay. of 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 people from China and and Asia uh, mm-hmm. over right Valerie yes and and so they there, there's dozens and dozens Canada of just taxi fabulous and restaurants. You're just, yeah. There's several of them. Yeah. Oh, cool. Sure. Super so good. it's kind of it's kind of fun. And if you want to go to downtown Vancouver, it's maybe 20 minutes away. You hop on the SkyTrain, and so that was built for the Olympics. And there's uh, there's a station in uh, the Vancouver airports between domestic and, and the Fairmont, right in between. Very reasonable. Oh, hop yeah. on it downtown. You go right there. Uh, Miss all the traffic. Park, yeah. Easy. Stanley Park Park is gorgeous, right? It is. It is. Yes. Yeah. I mean, yeah. truly, Vancouver is spread out and beautiful. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Beautiful place. So, if you want to spend an extra day, what if you wanted to spend an extra day on Haida Gwaii? You I mean, stay, you stay with us, of course. Oh, you would. You would oh. have an option for people to yep. be able to stay you, an extra yes. day. You can do that. Yes, yes, I've had several people do no that. No kidding. Yes, and then we arrange a tour, and yeah. they tour, and, and no, so it's you know I can't I can't have twenty four people stay extra. Understand. But I that's why we have the extra rooms so that um, I've had a lot of couples have stayed extra. Yeah. And you could take uh, with Haida style expeditions and go into. Um, the other side of the island of Moresby Island, and you can go in and see uh, like Skidans, um, go into Windy Bay, and you see the totems. You can sit in hot springs and trout I, fishing. I hear is very very good. I know it. Okay, we haven't expanded that. We're talking about Albacore. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it is there. Uh, but uh, the, lots so many different options. That's really cool. Yeah. A lot of options. It's right. crazy because we're talking Haida Gwaii and we're talking an island and islands. Yes, it, it's Huge. I looked so at I, I I mapped it out. It's 150 miles long. Yeah. It's Haida Gwaii? Haida Gwaii. Wow. It's huge. Yeah. Like it's, it's a, a monster. big island. And and we didn't talk about when we're on the boats and traveling through the oh, passage. The channel. The 18, 19 miles or whatever it is, I don't know the exact number, but it is the... I bet Rob does. <laughs> Rob? <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. 20, 28 or 24, I believe, to the outside. Oh, the, and so that ride is the most calm, beautiful... Yeah, so if you're Spectacular traveling... Spectacular ride. It is so beautiful. It's the most scenic 45 See, minutes to an hour of your life. and deer and what? waters and... Yeah. And it's all Lee, Lee protected, like in, oh. in, inside it's water inside, protected. Yeah, it's yeah. between yeah. two islands, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's yeah. in between the yeah. two. Yeah. It's, it's amazing. It's, it's not like, you know, my journey coming from, I'm saying, north to south yesterday. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I tell people this will be the best commute to your fishing ground oh, you'll no ever question. have in the world. It's no amazing. Question. Seriously. Yes. So beautiful. Lots so, of people sleep. <laughs> yeah. sleep. And, and if you sleep, you miss it. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah. 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 And the, the west side of the island, if you're fishing, I mean, maximum five, six miles from where you enter the west side there, 
It, it, yep. so, so the ninety percent of your ride is the calmest. It's yeah. it's amazing. Beautiful. Yeah. Hey, you've been thinking mm-hmm. of pitch purchasing an outboard? Don't delay and purchase a brand new Yamaha outboard and a great deal during Yamaha's Why Wait for Spring Sales event. From now until December six, twenty twenty four, eligible new twenty five to two point five horsepower outboards come with up to five hundred dollars in dealer credit. New Yamaha four fifty to four twenty five horsepower outboards include seven years of coverage protection and new 350 to 30 horsepower outboards comes with six years of coverage protections no need to delay yamaha's why wait for spring sales event is right now at your local yamaha dealer yamaha reliability starts here and of course there's exclusions and exceptions uh, apply but check with your local yamaha dealer all right hey with that said let's find out what's going on on the water it is time for our fishdope.com report and we are going to find out what's going on with our thanks to our good friends at Fisherman's Processing in San Diego, where you can get the premier processing experience. Check out the new, easier online system to book your processing for your long-range trips. With the new team members, Fisherman's Processing stays far ahead of the rest. More same-day capacity and the finest customer service. Stop by the location in Old Town on Taylor Street or check Fisherman'sProcessing.com. A day off for the Angler's Realtor. We got the man, the boss. The man. Yeah, Danny from Fish Dope is on the line with a report this morning. Good morning, Danny. What's up, Danny? Hey, good morning. How you doing? We're great, buddy. Anxious to hear about some good fishing. Well, uh, I'm going to start at Catalina Island. There is a ton of squid in the Salta Verde, Silver Canyon, Palisades area. A lot of squid boats are working it. And if uh, history holds true, there should be yellowtail starting to show on that stuff between now and Thanksgiving. Uh, Just hopefully the squid sticks around and it it should get good. I'm going to skip Clemente because... Wooly already took care of that. Uh, Coronado's really good fishing. There's yellows running deep on the ridge They're down by SKR. There's yellows deep along North Island at yo-yo fishing. This is traditional wintertime stuff. I expect to see it continue for a while. And the blue center are still there at SKR. Uh, I'm skip offshore. Uh, blue fin or at Cherry. That's pretty much the only zone that's holding fish right now, and it's zero or zero fishing. You know, you know the way bluefin are. Some yeah. boats are whacking them, and yeah. some some boats I know a couple short boats that hit 15 or 20 sonar marks and got nothing. You so know? they're not and on the banks they, anymore. Well, they're all around the cherry bank. They left Tanner. Sure. Interesting. Um, they're still a little bit on Tanner, but it's not that great. Here's, here's the fun stuff. Behind Clemente, and again, from the San Diego guys, on in Coronado Canyon and the 302, there are some yellowfin running with dolphin. Some, you know, Elgato Dosen, uh, a few other boats got really good scores. You know, just get that jig stop and throw a ton of bait. And, and or one or two more, and then oh, was, after was, the dolphin again. That's yeah. fun stuff. It was so cool. That's pretty much what I got for this week. Yeah, the the gray of that fish, like Ricky was saying, there were some 70 pounders in there, right? Yes, sir. Anywhere from 15 to 70. You know, (laughs) don't don't throw the 15 pound. You're likely to be, (laughs) you know. (laughs) No doubt. So. well, well, great news, Danny. Really good to hear about that good yellowtail fishing out the Cardinal Islands. Bluefin still in the game. Some blue, some like you said, some some uh, hero and zero reports yeah. from the bluefin grounds, but still good opportunities out there. I know we heard from Captain Frank Lepresti talking about that big hit that the Blair Supreme had on big fish right. in a new area behind Clemente. So yeah, some very very good fishing we had, and man, it's always nice to have FishDope.com on your back because you get an overview of everything that happened, where it happened, and uh, you know, following like the hot bite icons. You guys, you can kind of watch where those uh, where those trends are happening. A fantastic job, as always, Danny. We sure appreciate you keeping us in the loop. For sure. And if you want a, a new membership to fishedup.com, 30 bucks off a new membership using the code HOOKUPNOW. Lowercase, no space. HOOKUPNOW, your $30 code. Danny, you're the best. No doubt. Fishedup.com. Thank you. 
talk to you next Thank week. You. All right. Bye bye. All right. All right. See you, Danny. Appreciate that very much. All right. That's going to wrap up our catch report today. Again, like you say, that 30 bucks code uh, Norisk Lithium Batteries. They're here in Southern California, designed specifically for marine use. Norisk Lithium features prismatic cells for extreme durability, solid connections, longevity, and most importantly, reliability. Norisk Guardian Advanced Battery Management System that allows you to monitor the health and charging status of your batteries by using an app on your phone. Norisk also has um, a great line of kayak and electric reel batteries. Make an investment in the very best for your boat with Norisk Lithium. Check NorriskLithium.com or just go see the Trolling Motor Doctor or Angler's Marine at both their Anaheim and Lakeside locations for your Norisk Lithium batteries. And and they're just coming out with this new line of Norisk that should be uh, it's shipping right now. So go see your local dealer there and uh, check out the newest things from Norisk. They're the best uh, in lithium for sure. Uh, We talked about it yesterday. Rod Building 101 is coming this Wednesday to the Portuguese Hall here yeah. in Shelter Island, uh, San Diego, and it's hosted by Fisherman's Landing and the San Diego Anglers, and you have the f- probably the four best custom rod builders in the on the planet, Jim Trelekis, Bill Havens, Joe LaMonaco, and Chris Lafem. Latham, yeah. Latham, yeah. And uh, it's open to the public, and they're going to teach you how to build your own rod. It's a really cool event, whether you're a high-end rod builder, a hobbyist, or have never done it and just would like to add another you know, cool trick to your bag of tricks. And, and basically, they're going to go over everything, how to pick out a rod blank, how to spline the rod, um, how to set and install a grip, how to wrap guides, how to pick components. And like these guys are going to be set up at different stations. And I mean, Jim Trelickis is one of the, I mean, and same with Bill Havens. I mean, these guys are like world renowned yes. rod builders. Oh yeah. And you're just going to get to sit and have, I mean, it's like For having, free. Exactly. For it's like free. having Michael Jordan teach you how to throw free throws at a free event yeah. uh, at Portuguese Hall. It's so, going to be a really big night. So, uh, and Fisherman's Landing Tackle will be there to sell you components and rods and stuff? Not, not to no. sell. We're just going to have our whole crew there. Just okay. to, uh, This is an education thing. But it's so if you want to bring some stuff and have those guys show you how to do it, sure, we're, bring it, right? It, it's just going to be, yeah, exactly. Bring your own. We're going to have all our Bring crew, your own rod components. We're going to have our crew <laughs> there because our guys are amazing at helping a guy figure out what is the right blank or the right components. Yeah. To do. These guys are the world's experts at putting the putting the parts to the rod and how to do it. And, you know, I'm biased, but I think our guys are the best in the world at knowing blanks and components and materials yeah. and that kind of stuff. Because you guys gonna, specialize in it's that. It's just going to be a big, rad educational day with a big raffle. And every, yeah. as you know, everything San Diego Anglers does is first class. Yeah, for sure. 6 p.m., the doors open Wednesday, this Wednesday, and the seminar starts at 7. So it's free. Portuguese Hall, right there on Shelter Island. Check it out. The Rod Building 101. There it is. Fantastic. All right. Let's jump into those jam-packed phones. How about we talk to John? He's calling us from Huntington Beach this morning. Good morning, John. Thanks for hanging in there with us. Hey, good morning. Uh, I just, I don't know where to start. I, uh, I, I, I've been talking to, to uh, Valerie at the Bart Hall shows and, and uh, for years, and it was her being on your show uh, last year that kind of uh, tipped the scales and said, I, I got to go to this place. And boy, was, <laughs> I love it. We want, we was it ever amazing? Come. Yeah. Well, I did. I, I went uh, with Corey and um, on this, this last summer. And uh, so I, it was amazing. Corey was a great host and we fished with Nathan. We went out. Um, Evan and Jack were the two other guys on on the boat with uh, me and my buddy Dave. Uh, we uh, we had an amazing time, and uh, I remember Corey saying he could fish anywhere in the world, you know, and he always loves going to Queen Charlotte Safaris. And I thought, wow, that's pretty, that's quite a testimony for a guy like Corey who who really could and probably has fished all over the world. So anyway, I'm I'm real excited about the albacore and salmon combo trip and. Uh, I just am waiting for the dates to see when we can book again. And, and one last thing, you know, they always say that it's a bucket list trip, but I don't see it as a bucket list because uh, I'm planning on going back. And, you know, it's not like uh, you do it once in your life, and that and it's not a one and done, you know. So, anyway, thanks. It's like a trip of a lifetime a that you want to do over and over yeah. again, right? <laughs> John, i got to hear with a testimony like oh, that. Yeah. What, was the, what, was your, what was your highlight fish from your trip? Uh, it was, well, uh, the king salmon, I love king salmon, and we caught just, you know, it was pretty much uh, 
quick action, 25 to 30 pounders. And, uh, and the Lincod, the Lincod were incredible. Um, I, I couldn't believe the, the amount and size of, of the Lincod. Uh, that was, that was really something. The halibut, we didn't catch very many. Um, I mean, we caught a day limit on one day, but then the weather came up and we couldn't get back out, uh, for our final day. We would have had limits on all the species had the weather cooperated and, and, but that's just fishing, I guess. It was but fantastic. You still took home plenty of processed fish, I'm sure. That's awesome. Beautifully oh, processed yeah. fish, I might add. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. Well, uh, yeah. John, reach I out to me. Re- just send me an email. Oh, go ahead. Okay. I was just going to say I need some recipes on Lincoln. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so, yeah, I, know. I know. I'm working on that. I have two from Chef John. Oh, cool. I do. A little okay. olive oil, add a little bit of butter in the pan. It doesn't take much. About the time no. you're done, add some capers and salt. Oh, there you go. Voila. Corey. <laughs> Corey, the man. Like hey, thanks, thanks a lot for the call this morning. I have, I have a yes. great text here from Tim in Ojai. He says, good morning, Pete, Rick, Valerie, Rob, and Corey. My wife and I came up to celebrate our retirement and you thir- and thoroughly enjoyed every aspect of the trip. Captain Rob was our guide, and he got my wife and her, fr- uh, and her first coho and had a great time pointing out how she listens better than me, <laughs> which is always true with the women, right? Uh, using the traditional salmon rods and reels, keep your tips up, Rob. Oh, yeah, there you go. I, 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 Rob knows I'm the prime example of slapping the hand and, yeah. and oh yeah. The typical Southern uh-huh. California dude wants to pull as hard as he can yeah. and get the fish in. And what, what do you think, Rob? No, you got to enjoy it, Corey. You know how it is. You know how it is. <laughs> and, Take and your time. The enjoy the fish. The traditional BC um, We were just talking the, about this. Yeah, the muckle buses, those rods, like they're like fly rods. They bend so parabolically. Yeah, yeah, no, you really got to, it's it's more of a, using the the rod as a suspension um, to fight the fish because of the having the barbless hooks, you know, you, you just, any, any tension let off and the fish is gone. So you want to keep that rod bent and keep the, uh, keep the, the suspension of the rod, just having it so it keeps the hook in the, in the mouth of the fish. So, um, yeah, it's a little bit of a different ball game. Once you get used to it, it's, it's uh, definitely a fun thing to do. And you can use it's conventional gear too if you don't want to use the, uh, the traditional um, BC method. Not on Rob's boat. Not on Rob's boat. Oh, okay. <laughs> which, which is great because it adds it adds a fun element to fishing. Yeah. I've never done it. Yeah. And we call them knuckle busters, but get your hand out of the way. They're not going to knuckle bust yeah. you. You know what I mean? And yeah, you have a drag, no, that's just... It's fun. When I love the story that yeah. Corey was telling during the break of, you know, of, of that style of fishing, like you said, it, you know, you got to be careful when things can happen and hooks can come out. And, you know, Corey was fighting a big fish that got close to the boat and, and it shook its head just right and the fish came off. And, and you know, Rob was like, oh, man, that was such a nice one. And Corey's like, there's a box absolutely full and it took us. It took us minutes to hook this fish. It's going to take us minutes to hook the next one. Like, no big deal. <laughs> it sounds so cool. Well, Rob, Thanks sounds so. like great fishing and lots of fun. When we come back, we're going to be talking more about that. More with you. You stay tuned. It's Let's Talk Hook Up on the Let's Talk Hook Up app and the Sports Grid Radio Network. Don't be the last one to get one, especially now. The new Brutus Pacific Pro from Ace Line Hauler. You can catch more lobster and pull deeper with the Ace Line Hauler so you can get those bugs in the boat. Easy to store and low power draw. The Ace Line Hauler is the highest quality and certainly the best on the market. Just ask a friend that has one. Get the new Brutus Pacific Pro by Ace Line Hauler today. Buy now at better fishing stores near you. The best just got better. Shimano is proud to introduce the all-new Talica 20A and 25A reels. The Talica series is Shimano's flagship two-speed lever drag reel. It sits at the very pinnacle of the offshore world. The Shimano's Talica success is driven by its durability and spec attributes, allowing the series to differentiate from from other lever drag reels within the market. The Talica is built around a cold forge machined aluminum one-piece frame. The all-new Talica 
25A and 25A now boasts Infinity Drive. Infinity Drive employs two drag washers housed in the side of the reel, allowing for an ultra-smooth, powerful drag system, while at the same time increasing winding power under a load as much as 40%. There's also a new lower low gear. If your utmost concern is performance without compromise, Talica 20A and 25A are the reels for you. Available now at your local Shimano dealer. Saturday, November 2nd, it's Tackle Day at Fisherman's Landing in San Diego, and it's our largest sale ever. Plenty of seminars by saltwater experts, over 20 reps from tackle manufacturers like Shimano. Come check out the new Shimano Talica A, the pinnacle of lever drag two-speed reels. The Talica features Shimano's Hagani body to prevent misalignment of moving parts under the heaviest loads. When throwing jigs, the Shimano Trinidad is your top choice. For the best ever tackle bargains, check out Tackle Day at Fisherman's Landing, Saturday, November 2nd. I've had the opportunity to fish many places in many different types of water, but never have I fished a place as much fun as Katmai Lodge in Alaska. Hello, my name is Harold Davis, typically fishing in the ocean, but this is an experience that you have to try for yourself. Fish natural rivers with tens of thousands of fish coming up, and they have all the gear, spinning, bait casting, fly rods, kings, silvers, pinks, sockeyes, and my favorite, the chums. Outstanding food, outstanding accommodations, great service. The lodge is located in the beautiful Katmai National Park filled with amazing wildlife. Brown bears, moose, eagles, otters, and it has spectacular scenery. And also the fact that the lodge is located right on the Alagnac River and your boat is just steps away from your room makes it great. Do yourself a favor, call Charmel at 1-800-330-0326 or go online, katmai.com. And like Pete says, they will hook you up. Welcome back to Let's Talk Hookup. We're having a great time here this morning talking Queen Charlotte Safaris. If you want to get in on the fun, 213-432-1090 is how you do it. Or keep those great texts rolling through on our Let's Talk Hookup app. Yeah, indeed. And a uh, lot of good stuff. Uh, the Liberty, if you saw our shot outside there uh, on the camera, the Liberty's sitting at the dock today because they're on a two-day trip tonight. Yeah. And we have a Let's Talk Hookup two-day trip next week. Uh, it leaves on the 14th and through the 16th. A two-day limited load trip. Limited 25 people. Oh, my and the price is unbelievable on it. And I can't believe there's still spots available. On a two-day. On a two-day. On the Liberty. On uh, that. So it leaves next, uh, next uh, I would be next Monday and comes back Wednesday. Um, and uh, it's, it's, it's inexpensive. Yeah. So if you want to go, check Fisherman'sLanding.com. Book it right online, the Liberty. Then, of course, we talked about the spots on the seven-day uh, Shogun trip. Yeah. Let's talk hookup trip uh, this month. Hosted by uh, Mr. Ron Lane himself. And then yesterday I saw the Royal Star and talk to the crew on the Royal Star and they're having such fabulous fishing down on the ridge and they have spots available on the Royal Star available on trips this November, this October and November which is unheard of. There's a lot of people out there we hear a bunch in the shop that a, a Wahoo is a fish on somebody's bucket list. Man, I right. really want to catch a Wahoo. That's if there was ever a year that this you is it. go man, do, Wahoo, a fall, yellowfin. do a fall six day or longer trip, preferably a seven day, seven, maybe yeah. even an eight day, right now there is unbelievable big grade yellowfin fishing and i mean the rocks has kicked out some epic wahoo scores these last couple of weeks i mean you know it was like uh, i was reading one you know the other day common all day long three and four way jig strikes with you know 10 wow. to 20 fish on jigs and the bombs wow. after those stops i mean yeah thir- 30 fish stops on wahoo and sign me up landing oh, yeah. that maybe you know, that's such a humbling fish where you know get a lot of bites oh, yeah. of fish. if you're landing 30 you probably hooked 60 or 70 yeah. fish just in that stop it's right. been it's been really really good an so, amazing fall ridge year this year. Check ShogunSwordFishing.com or RoyalStarSportFishing.com and book one of those trips because like Rick says, it is, it's it's an epic year for Great them. And, year uh, for get it. on it while you can. Chef Harold Davis. I know. Chef Harold <laughs> Davis. Harold Davis. <laughs> right? Harold Davis who co-hosts our Queen Charlotte Safari trips. Uh, Chef Harold, I had no idea he had the talents, right? I believe He that. says, this is a recipe for cooking lingcod. It can be used on lingcod, halibut, uh, any kind of white fish. Season 
fish, pat, fly, uh, fish dry with paper towel and discard. Heat oil, heat in a large skillet over medium heat, and the oil heats thoroughly. Cook the fish skin side down, place the fillets skin side uh, down, and press down gently for a few seconds so the skin doesn't curl. Sear until the skin is golden and then easily releases from the pan. About three minutes. Flip and continue to cook. Con- carefully flip the fish using a spatula and, and add butter, lemon juice, and capers into the pan. Cook the fish, tilting the pan so that the butter and the side of the pan, and use a spoon to splash the butter over the top and baste the fish until it's cooked through. About an additional minute. Serve garnish with herbs. Serve the fish with lemon wedges on the side. There you go. Hi. Harold, hey. Harold hey. Davis's uh, recipe Harold. for uh, ling cod. A prime example, you can't screw up a good fish. Yeah. Because <laughs> that's an easy recipe. That's it is. Super yeah, easy. It's yeah. super easy. And sure. garlic. Did I hear garlic? Garlic's a prime. No, I didn't oh, say anything about I, garlic, but garlic. I would agree with Corey. Yes. <laughs> Got to throw in the garlic, garlic caper, and right. little lemon. Lemon, lemon zest. Yeah, maybe a little Yellow. white wine. Lemon oh zest. God. Yeah. Yes. But, but again, Orange hard zest. to screw up. A, but you, you can pretty much do anything you want. <laughs> it's right. hard to screw up a fish that, of that quality. Oh, it's so delicious. Good. Rob, do you have any special recipes for lingcod or halibut? Uh, beer batter is a good one always, but uh, another one that was kind of weird that was like I found out a couple years ago was um, just uh, you know Tony Sacheret's the uh, Creole seasoning. Oh yeah. Uh, oh yeah. Flour, Tony Sacheret's, and a little bit of cinnamon, and then just pan fried and butter. Whoa! Wow. Yeah, yeah, that's a good one. That's good, yeah. yeah. <laughs> For sure. Yeah. Let's jump in the phones, Rick. You got it, man. How about we talk to Mike? He's calling us from Torrance this morning. Mike, good morning. Thanks for joining us on Let's Talk Hook Up. Good morning, everybody. Uh, thanks a lot for a great show. Uh, Aliar went out and took us uh, on the Flare Supreme. We got back Tuesday, and uh, he, he fishes so hard, and I just want to thank you for a great trip. Uh, we got several bluefin and uh, fished the Cherry Bank area. And if, if I'm going to cook some of my bluefin when it's fresh, after I'm done eating sashimi, I'm going to put some uh, olive oil, cilantro, and fresh garlic, and then sear it over a barbecue, and, and uh, mm. you, you got to have some lemon, and, and that's how I do it. But I hope you guys have a great go. day. Yeah. Thank you. All right. Hey, glad you had Good a great job, trip Mike. on the Polaris Supreme. Good fishing. No doubt. And Allie, our fish is hard. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I had a great text this morning. It says, Good morning, Let's Talk Hookup team. My question's for Valerie. Where can I find out a little more details on a Queen Charlotte's package? I'm interested in the seasons, the cost, how to make reservations, all the backside stuff. Um, that's from D.C. and Mission Viejo. Hi. Good. Thank you for that. Just uh, write to the website, qcsafaris.com. Go to Contact Us. Fill it out. It's going to come right to my email, and I'll get everything sent out to you. There you go. So, again, qcsafaris.com. Yes. And then Valerie's amazing to talk to on the phone. If you have any questions yes. or any more details, Thank you. just call Valerie. Yeah, just call and me. Yeah. Here's my cell. Okay. I mean, it's 805-698-9590. Comes right to me. How about that? Very yep. good. All right. Here's another great text from John and Upland. He says, hi, guys. Great show. Can Valerie go over the fish limits um, on the species that you can in Canada? And this is this is good because it's 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 very liberal for the Canadian. Yep. Uh, yeah. And uh, yes, I can. I can or Rob can either of it. Okay. Rob, so Rob, probably. Either way. Yeah. Rob, you want to go over limits? I can. Uh, well, it's uh, between. So for your, you have a daily limit and a possession limit. Your daily limit is your daily limit, obviously, and then your possession is your two days. So you have two, four, or one, two for Chinook, depending on the time of the season, um, which can change at any time. It can be always two, four. It can always be always one, two. So it doesn't. Uh, so, then you have. So so uh, on, on Chinook or King Salmon, two, four. So four in possession for your three-day trip, or two per day, but it can yep. or, or one, two. But that can mm-hmm. be in June, July, or August. It depends uh, on. Yeah, it, it 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 can it consistently changes every year with uh, DFO's regulations, and then uh, your halibut or um, one, two. Uh, two small ones or, or one big one, and that changes whether they allow you to take the two on the one day, uh, changes during the year, and then your link cod is a six. And, um, Did yeah, you say link cod is six any size? Almost. It's ridiculous. Six, 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 well, six above above uh, 65 centimeters, so above two feet, basically a little over two feet. Jeez. Oh, my gosh, that's amazing. So you can keep six, and how many a day? Three. Mm. Three. Six a day, but Three. we're kind of. Two. It's gonna. That might change. 
it might be going down to four or three. We're not sure. But, um, yeah, so, right now this year it was really good. And, and, mm-hmm. and, and that's the the big one. It has to be bigger than two feet, right. which you wouldn't keep yeah. the little ones yeah. anyway. Try finding one. That's no, you want to let yeah. them have a chance to breed. I don't think I've ever seen one that small. That's though. what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> very, very, very generous limits. Uh, for, for And, and then mm-hmm. rockfish depends on the species, right? Mm-hmm. Depends on the species, but, uh, yeah, it's the same with um, six. And, six and what about coho? Coho is, so salmon, you can have four per day. Um, sometimes chinook is one, sometimes chinook is two. But you can have four per day, eight total. Which so you could have you could have eight coho if you wanted to, but you obviously don't want that. You want to have your at least your two chinook or four chinook. Yeah. And uh, so yeah, total of, of eight salmon. Wow. And and regardless of how it all works out, I mean you're bringing home minimal a full box and working on a second box. Like no matter what the limits are, and the I have to say the harvest is the most amazing part of it for myself. Right. I'm bringing home this beautiful chinook and halibut and lean cod and it's all done in five mil bags your processor yep. does the most beautiful job it's it's fishermen yep. like we down here rob we have uh, fisherman's processing who sets the bar for the highest standard and it's equivalent mm-hmm. it's yeah. it's fisherman's processing super quality. high quality yeah and five, five mil, mil bags, bags. Yeah. and that's all fish that keeps so so well through the whole can, year you, you oh yeah enjoy that the whole year long and in addition it's all included in your package part there of the is. deal you don't pay any extra for fish processing. And 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 let let's say there's four of you and you're dividing even like you're pulling your fish together in the boat, right? They divide it evenly. We pay for that cost to divide the fish. There's a cost to that. Queen Charles Safari pays for that. Pays That's for included. That. Wow. Same with the fish boxes. All wow. included. All included. And that's hundreds of dollars in fish processing. I we, we all if you've know. If you ever paid your we bill at Fisherman's right. Processing, you know. Yeah. You know, it's, it, it's, it's hundreds of dollars. It's quality. Yeah. Like he, it's, it's certified yeah. like well, plant. Actually, the, the Ironman Gary White has a question about that. I, I, okay. I, 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 you talk about Queen Charlotte Safaris, and it always says how hardworking Valerie is and your staff are. What fish processing do you offer? So, so that's kind of, you said it's part. Part of the part of the mm-hmm. deal, but who handles that? Does Rob handle that? No, does, so does the, do you have people on the dock that take care of it? So we actually use uh, T and M Seafood. They're right there in and uh, DG, which is on the other island. So you drop your fish off. He, he, they handle it. So it's all tagged. Per it's, boat. it's so cleanly it's, it's done. It's like so cleanly done. They're amazing. I've known Tom 2005. He's awesome. So on your way back in, you stop Drop at the other island, off. which is what, about a mile from the lodge? Well, it's kind of on the way. Yeah. Yeah, it's on the way. Across the other way. Yeah. Um, and so that gives you a whole other like, little journey to see another part of the islands. Yeah. Because yeah. there are mm-hmm. other islands where normally if you just come straight back through. So Tom is certified plant. His team meets you at the dock. We get our ice there. Everything's on ice, and everything Queen Charlotte Safaris has a special bin, and it bins within the bin of all our fish, and it gets cut every night. Then it goes on a tray, and it's all vacuum packed, flash frozen, and then on turnaround day, one of my team, one of the guides, one of the team. They go over, get the fish, meets us at the airport. It's awesome. Seamless. Done. Seamless. Yeah, and then they, you get in line for the your flight back to Vancouver, uh, and yeah. Valerie and her team are right there right putting there. the fish pockets on your cart. That's yes. amazing. It's like you don't have to do anything. Nope. Yeah, but eat. Eat. <laughs> and, and catch fish. And catch fish. Uh-huh. And, and then take in the beauty and enjoy it. Exactly. All yeah. of it. I, I had one uh, real quick text that I had to read that switches gears for the fastest. It's Rick, I have to tell you, I just got off my two day Pacific Dawn trip. I happened to see you the second before I got on, and I got a 165 pound bluefin tuna and won the jackpot. Uh, wow. The reason I had to read that is Mike shared with me uh, that Corey has been his good luck charm. He has called the radio show when Corey's on two trips in a row, and he had caught a big giant tuna, and he Whoa. said he, he, said mm-hmm. he was due to miss because he had so many big ones and then we, he and I had just chatted in the parking lot just before he left and he had a 165 wow. pounder on the jackpot and another big one. So I'm good for something. You got it, Corey. <laughs> Congratulations, Steve. That's awesome. That's a huge one. Well, in the meantime, let's jump back into the phones and talk to Mike. He's calling us from Rosemead this morning. Mike, good morning. Thanks for joining us. Hey, good morning. Uh, real quick here, I um, have a pencil and paper in front of me. So, Valerie, how do you spell the hi to boy? Uh, and second... Do you post any YouTube videos 
on the lodges Wait. there. That's what I mainly watch, and I'd like to get my wife to see one to get her interested on in going up there. Thank you. Yeah, we we do have uh, YouTube and Haida Gwaii, so you can go there. And we have some videos on our website as well. And Haida is spelled H-A-I-D-A space G-W-A-I-I. And since we're talking about that real quick, I just got a couple of texts about people asking if we're selling or... Concerned uh, with the name change. Yeah, concerned with the name change. This is... We've always had Haida Gwaii in our name, but this is going to... The Queen Charlotte is being dropped, basically. We're keeping the safaris, and we're keeping the Haida Gwaii, and we're going to keep it Haida Gwaii safaris to keep it simple. And it's a respect for the indigenous people. 100% respect. Yeah. So, no, I'm not selling, unless I guess someone wants to buy. But, <laughs> no, we're not selling. We're just doing the respectful, and, again, Haida Gwaii means islands of the people, and... That's where we are. With the indigenous people. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. So when you go to the sports shows like Pacific Coast Sport Fishing Festival mm-hmm. in mm-hmm. March, which you will be be there, uh, what will we see when we're looking for Valerie? Will we see Queen Charlotte you'll Safaris see or will we see you'll Haida Gwaii? You'll still see both. Okay. Like we, it's going to take some time. I mean, next year, 20 years. So 20 years of branding and marketing. So it's going to take some time. But we've always had Haida Gwaii. And everything, so. But Valerie isn't going anywhere. That's no, the, that's the concern. No, I'm here. Good. You're there. All right. yeah. I am here. And, and that's what makes Haida Gwaii safaris or Queen Charlotte safaris so special. Crazy. I can tell you that, right, Rob? Yeah, you better believe that. My lady's <laughs> well, a workhorse. And also, I have an amazing team. Like, I was explaining to somebody at dinner last night. I I ate here locally. I walked into the American Tavern, and it, it, the Padres game was on, and everyone's cheering. And I was sitting next to this father and son, and um, I had my little jacket on, and they just kind of asked. And anyway, I mean, we're literally four months of a family. We really are, and. Uh, we probably see our QCS family, our Haida Gwaii family, more than we see our own family and spend so much time together. And so it's it's all about community, working together. There is no break. And um, I need to give a hats off because we've been talking about me and also Rob, but we also have Taro, Erica, Nathan, Chris, uh, Chef John. Roy. Royce, yes, Royce. Yeah. Aubrey. Aubrey, can't miss yeah. Aubrey. 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 Melanie, Rachel, Diane. Diane, like, this was her 15th year working wow. for me. Wow. Yeah. Corey, yeah. did you have the crab feast this oh, year? Are you kidding me? <laughs> I, I mean, I, it I is the most that. insane crab feast. He I is, live for it. Corey is the champion crab oh, eater. I, 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 used to, oh, I used to hold the crown, but he no. He's thrown the champ. Oh, yeah. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Corey is like the champ. Okay. I, I, yeah, put I the bib on and stand seen. back. Okay. You yeah. lay down Dungeness, man. Yeah. Watch out. It's so good. Yeah, and and you catch it yourself, right? Well, you as a team on the boat. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's so fun. You, you, you mentioned Erica. Uh, I mean, yes. You have Rob, Nathan. You have the whole crew of captains. Mm-hmm. But you very specially have a woman we do. captain. And Erica. just a lovely lady that you would never know. I mean, she comes to the dinner, and you're like, where, where did she come from? She's actually part of the captain crew. Yes. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. And, yes. and so, an in indigenous person. Yes. yes. She's from the Sunshine Coast. That's so cool. Hey, John and Mira Mesa wants to know, and I'll answer answer this because I've done it several times. Uh, how you get to Queen Charlotte Safaris from San Diego. Easy. It's easy. <laughs> so you, there's three different non-stops on Air Canada. Mm-hmm. Um, to Vancouver. To the Vancouver. You fly directly to Vancouver. It's about two and a half hours, uh, two hours, 45 minutes. And then you either connect to the afternoon flight to uh, Haida Gwaii or Sand Spit, mm-hmm. uh, which is an hour and a half, hour and 40 minutes. Or you spend the night and then connect the ne- and, and enjoy what's around there and then connect the next day. And then on the way back, generally speaking, you can do the same thing in reverse but not have have to spend the night and just walk, rock right through. But yeah. sometimes you might want to spend the night. And for those that are not spending the night, and if they are on Air Canada, we will check their fish, check fish from Sandspit, and you'll pick it up in San Diego. And we 
we clear customs, there's a United States customs office Super unique. in Vancouver the, airport. So when you get back to the United States, you're done. It's yeah. the it's the only so easy. The only U.S. customs uh, port outside of the United States. Where yes, they have one in Toronto as well. There is okay. Mm-hmm. Where you can clear you clear customs, you yeah. arrive in San Diego. It's like you're on a domestic flight. Yes. If you're not coming from San Diego, there's several other airlines. United flies there. Alaska Airlines flies there. Um, generally speaking, the that Air Canada uh, has the most direct routes to Vancouver, though. But there are other alternatives that you can go sure if you are. want to use your miles or something like that yeah, on another absolutely. airline. Absolutely. And so when when you get booked and we get the welcome packet out, there's the whole form. Would you like assistance with airfare to Vancouver? And you mark check a yes. There we are. We'll go from there. Valerie's got Very it simple. all dialed in. The other thing that's super cool is the lunch. When you get there, you check the remind me to check the boxes. You basically custom make your lunch every day, and it's there on the boat when you go fishing. That's right. Yeah. It's yeah. cool having all those steps to make the airport travel so fast, especially now that Corey is on the uh, the no fly list through TSA. <laughs> so like, pretty much from here on out, like he's, yeah, he's, yeah, no, he's been yeah. kicked off a TSA yeah. pre check for sure. So yeah. you know, having those extra steps of customs are really going to help things out. Hey, when we come back, we got more Let's Talk Hookup coming your way, including finding out who's got themselves a brand new pair of Costas. More Let's Talk Hookup on the Let's Talk Hookup app and the Sports Grid Radio Network. Everyone has their go-to fishing spot. My spot is Kingfisher Charters in Sitka, Alaska. Rock Cod Rick here to say if you're looking for the ultimate Alaska experience and the best value in Alaska, it's Kingfisher Charters. Owner Seth Bone and his crew consistently deliver deluxe accommodations, the finest food, world-class fish processing, and top-of-the-line fishing experience. We We've literally sent hundreds of our listeners to Kingfisher, and they all can't wait to go back. Most Alaska resorts make big promises, and they don't deliver, or they'll nickel and dime you to drive up the cost, but not Kingfisher. Everything is included. Your license, fish processing, super deluxe accommodations, amazing food, airport transfers, your gear, literally all you need to bring is your layer clothing, and Kingfisher covers the rest. They also have the finest boats and charter captains in Sitka, all for the ultimate value. Take it from me. Book your trip to Kingfisher Charters, and you'll thank me. Kingfisher Charters, 800-727-6136, or check kingfishercharters.com. When it comes to fishing rods for saltwater, there's just one name you need to know, CalSTAR. Take, for example, the Graphiter series. It's a true graphite and fiberglass composite rod, the finest that's ever been built. And for anglers seeking traditional performance, durability, and quality at an affordable price, the CalSTAR West Coast series of rods and blanks are the ones for you. Their master craftsmen bring decades of rod building experience to every rod they make. So if you want your fishing rods to be truly state-of-the-art, I always recommend CalSTAR at fine tackle stores everywhere. Saturday, November 2nd is Tackle Day at Fisherman's Landing in San Diego. Come see seminars by saltwater experts, great deals on tackle from Shimano, like Terramar Rods with TC4 Blank Construction. Tackle Day at Fisherman's Landing, Saturday, November 2nd. Hey, San Diego, the Make It Ford Summer Sales Event is on. Visit your San Diego County Ford dealers now and make it your best summer yet. Amazing offers and great selection of Ford vehicles, like the Built Wild Bronco family, with a deal you just can't miss. Your biggest adventures are awaiting. Make it Ford, make it yours, make it now. Only at your San Diego County Ford dealers, they'll be glad to hook you up. For your next fishing adventure, check Point Loma Sport Fishing. They offer half-day and full Full day trips daily, perfect for families and the novice or seasoned fishermen. Point Loma Sport Fishing also offers overnight to multi-day trips, targeting the best of seasonal catches. Visit PointLomaSportFishing.com where you can purchase tickets online and get more information on the trips available. Or call 619-223-1627. Want to go fishing? Point Loma Sport Fishing has you covered. Welcome back to Let's Talk Hookup. Okay, it is time to find out who's got $300 of coast to come in their way, whether it's a caller or a texter. And Valerie's going to do us the honors of flipping our prize coin here. Today we have a texter. Congratulations, Tom, who is texting us from the Bay Area. You've got 300 bucks in Costa coming your way. Congratulations. You are going to love your new shades. Yeah, for sure. And uh, Valerie and Rob, you guys are so awesome, and Great. I can't wait to go back up there. And Rob, thank you for joining us on the phone. Appreciate it very much. Yeah, no, 
No worries. Thank you very much. It was a great show, guys. Thank you uh, a lot for having me on. Yeah, and we look forward to fishing with you next year. I know uh, all of us uh, love to visit uh, there and uh, look forward to it. And, Valerie, how do we do that? How do we visit Queen Charlotte? And do you have any spots available? Uh, we we have two on your trip, which is August 3 through 7. And we're looking for a single angler on your trip, Corey, which is July 30th to August 3rd. And, and you mentioned and, something about friendly for a female. Yes, that. because that particular I mean, female, male doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. perfect. Yeah, All good. and um, and you have spots in June too, which is one of the hidden secrets of Queen yes. Charlotte Safaris. Our right? hidden gem. Yeah. yeah, spots in June, which yes. better, great weather and fantastic fishing for everything, right? And you get the first shot at the link cod and the rockfish, right? Pinnacles and the and, 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 yeah, and you're and you're most likely guaranteed to get a two shuck for that point of the season too in June. Oh, yes. okay. Ooh. Yeah. All right. That's that too. Like that, that, yeah, because it's the beginning of the season, right, Rob? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, two per day. I want to go. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And, well, talking about that yeah. for 2026. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and uh, for getting hold of me, you can just, again, write to their website, qcsafaris.com, and uh, just fill out your form and send it to me. Perfect awesome job, you guys. All right. Thank, thank you, you, Valerie. So much thank for you, Rob. Us. Appreciate that. And thank so. you out there. Thanks to JP for manning the phones and the board for us. Thanks to Adam for all he does on the Let's Talk Hookup website. Thank you for all your texts, your calls, and your support of Let's Talk Hookup uh, on all our different channels. Next Saturday, Rosie Flower from Sedro Sport Fishing. And then next Sunday, Captain Frank Lopresti from the Royal Polaris. It'll be Corey and Rick next Saturday as I go down to host our Let's Talk Hookup Palmaster Cortez 30th annual tournament. And I'll be giving you the report from there. Thanks for listening today. We'll see you next week right back here on the Sports Grid Radio Network, 1090 AM, the Let's Talk Hookup app, and YouTube and Facebook Live.